Hello everybody, SBK here brings you a third in a row com a dual audio commentary between me and Trumpesk. And here he is! Hey, hey there folks. Yeah, as um, SBK said, we're going to be having a game between Yoz and Santiri um, on Echo on us. It's going to be uh, Human versus Elf. And uh, as we can see, actually, Santini going for a tavern build. Uh, certainly pretty common on Echo Wilds, and probably more common than most other maps. But um, what, what do you think about this sort of build on Echo Wilds oh, against well, you? Well, like I said in a uh, previous attempt, it's going to be a Dark Ranger, most likely. <laughs> mm, and yeah. And, uh, yeah. and uh, apparently, uh, this uh, uh, scouting peasant is going to see this uh, trio. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, AOW and going up at the 3 o'clock, so maybe human's gonna do. Oh, right, never mind, he's gonna put it on a farm, so um, he's gonna keep yeah. an eye on that. I think I think he was a bit too late to try and pull the creeps onto it, because obviously you can build an early range of work, your ult is a bit later, and so uh, he wasn't able to pull the creeps onto it. I'm not sure if he even would have tried anyways, because he probably would have just lost his peasant anyways, but. Well, um, if, you, if you think about it, uh, mathematically speaking, if, you, if a human power build the tab, uh, I mean the altar and the power build the barracks, like a sky would do on on, on twisted metals, a human technically would have gotten a hero faster, like hero out faster, and then start going to three o'clock and completely screw up the night elf build. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, that's certainly true. Assuming that your um, opponent doesn't scout, and assuming that uh, your opponent yeah. is is confident enough to power build his altar, and yeah. because you, he knows you're going to be building it there. But if you do go for the um, slightly easier to and you are certain about that it's really because you're going to hold on the front of you really gain not too much from it. Obviously the really advantage of power building it is that you can creep out on it, or certainly on, um, on um, Twisted Meadows that you can do that creeping while um, being completely uninterrupted, uh, whereas obviously that's much less important in this situation. And, um, um, did you think two archers and uh, Asian war? Uh, no, I mean certainly um, he'll bring in his, um, actually it's a panda first here by Satiri, some very interesting play there by him. He actually, um, he has three archers if you notice, he has one with his um, panda, but uh, certainly, uh, I mean, he's going to want to be doing a whole lot of uh, archers just because he wants to be able to put on a lot of early pressure, that's one of the great things about the panda, is that you can just do a whole bunch of harassing uh, while, while your opponent expands. And so I imagine that he's going to uh, want to build up quite a few archers, he probably won't be off the for hundreds of them, so he'll probably be teching. And uh, we might see a set, we might see um, a second hero in uh, terms of actually there's a whole lot of things to be able for a second hero, but uh, I think we'll probably be seeing a lot of harassment early game here. Do you see a human pick up a boost of speed on the AM? Yes, yes. Yeah, it's a pretty good item on the AM early on. The very next drop it's a shame actually that he's facing uh, he's playing against a panda, where obviously something like a uh, Morden or a Demon Hunter would really be very good for chasing down that FMH, but something like a panda really isn't too good at chasing down heroes, and so it's a bit of an unfortunate time to pick up that boost, where he probably would have preferred something like Pendant of Mana, which he could then transfer to a Mountain King later. Yeah, I know, the Mountain King can, use, can neutralize the panda somewhat, but uh, it's, going to be, it's going to be a caster versus bears and dryads fight, and uh, without a Demon Hunter, the, the AM, the Archimage can just pump out an infinite amount of uh, water mental and uh, and the, the, bunch of, the dry is going to be busy with that, and it looks like humans going to fast expand at 8 o'clock. Yes, yeah, yeah. And, um, uh, and Nadov's doing the same thing too, I think. Uh, is he? I mean, no, Nadov's teched. Yeah, yeah, Nadov is teching. And um, meanwhile, uh, it looks like he's going to be trying to distract uh, Yoz by just coming in here. Yoz, not too stupid, he will be able to uh, know that this harassment is coming. and. We'll have to see whether or not Satini decides to use his breath of fire on just uh, the uh, footman or he actually tries and hits the uh, peasant. He could well go into y Yaw's expansion attempt here. Uh, he is using haze here. Maybe he's going to utilize that berserker a bit. What do you think? Oh man, I think I think this is pretty hard for de few, for human to defend, especially without defend. Oh! <laughs> level 3, it's going to be very nice, that level 2 breath of fire. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, level three panda already, so it's really uh, nice for the, for the night elf to have that, especially especially when night elf has a clear deposit in their shop, so they can yes, have, yeah. yeah, so they can have a line, uh, pretty much unlimited mana um, in that regard. I don't think he's oh um actually if you look um Santini is also putting up an expansion now. Only elf can do this really. Um, yeah. tech put up an expansion, you know, it's put up putting up a hundred soul as well, you know, it's just craziness, but. Yeah. And it's like Yoltan scattered out, but he knows he can't take it down, and he's just going to take too much damage on his Dark Mage. So he brings out his he brings out his hero for now. Maybe he'll bring it back at some later point, try and take it down. But 
I actually quite like how Satimi has put his Ancient of War right in front of this expansion. So if any footmen try and go in, they're going to take a couple extra hits. That's pretty clever play by him. Yeah, I know. Uh, and and al also, if a footman wants to attack the expansion, the Ish the Asian War can take a w couple whacks at the footman before they get to it. You know what I mean? Mm, certainly, certainly. Um, looks like he also is actually trying to take down this hunter's hall. I don't think it's going to work unless. Oh, he might be able to summon another water elemental. Yeah, there's a, there's a water elemental now. This could be very bad for Satine because if he loses the hunter's hall, then he's really going to be. Uh, but he, is, uh, he actually look. He's actually rebuilding the hunter's hall by his um, main already. That's been, um, yeah, very yeah, I saw that. Maybe so maybe he's thinking about double upgrading like in StarCraft. <laughs> <laughs> a bit ambitious. Sorry, just give me one more minute. Um, right. and and look, looks like here comes the footman, and footman's gonna try to harass the a tree right before it goes up, before it gets the forty-five armor, and the forty-five armor is online, and looks like the four cock is going to get harassed. Can you harass when footman went down? And gets whacked by the Ocean of War. It looks like it sounds like a good time for the footman. Gets whacked. And <laughs> uh, sorry about the immature joke. Um, <laughs> um, you still there, Trumpesk? Hello? Alright, looks like we uh, sound like we're going to lose a uh, Trumpesk for a second. And looks like the, the <coughs> AM is going to try to keep pounding on the, a, uh, on the Panda. And it's a lot of uh, fun. Uh, Alright, are you back? Yes, I'm very sorry about that. I got a, bit, like, a phone call there. Normally, I just pause, but obviously, a dual commentary isn't quite possible. <laughs> no, it's it's funny. You missed my uh, masturbation joke right there. Um, but <laughs> oh, what a shame! <laughs> but uh, I said uh, Asian War I took a whack on the on the on the footman, so it's a masturbation joke right there. But uh, other than that, you didn't you didn't miss anything. Yeah, yeah, certainly. I, I sort of <laughs> enjoyed ASK for a bit longer, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway, both players that decided to take the tier two looks like Nadal is gonna get to t tier three here before Human gets to tier two. That's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. Also, it looks like he's gonna get to tier three pretty much at the time that those lores come up. So he's really not gonna be able to make the most of them. So the, the time that he could have had at least, but he's putting up nature of one just now, so he will be able to buy those uh, clarity that we were talking about earlier. And, um, um, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And, and anyways, um, Santini is now creeping up this um, middle shop. Obviously, he just wants to creep out all these camps that are shown in the middle because uh, it's just so important to stop your opponent from being able to creep, especially considering that um, Yaws will be teching soon, or sorry, he's teching already, and we'll have a um, Mountain King soon, and obviously that will be very... It'll be very important to creep that up to level 1 bolt isn't brilliant, but level 2, level 3 bolt is so, so powerful. Oh, the real panda's in trouble. You see that? Yes, yeah. I think because he has boots, he'll probably be able to get away. Uh, there's a shop nearby, so he'll be able to buy a healing potion. And, um, will he buy one? That's it. He, oh, yes, he does um, finally buy one. He does have a um, healing scroll as well if he really needs it. But he's being a bit on the edge, isn't he, here? Uh, he's he really taking a lot of damage and being forced to run all the way back out using his healing scroll. He does have a TP, but he does pop it. And he is TPing back to his main, so let's say he always will have a bit free time here just to um, get, try and take, try and take down Ancient of Wonders and probably get out. There's not really much more he can kill. Do you um, know one thing Nadov can do? If, uh, if, if one of their heroes have, uh, has a staff to teleportation, they can just staff that hero back to the main and get, get movements up and staff back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. certainly a, it's, a, it's a very sneaky move. It's very nice and it can be so powerful, especially if you. Like, I remember. Uh, seeing a game where um, Moon did that, and then he, uh, he actually um, snapped his uh, hero back, went back and went back and went shopping basically, he bought a TP, he bought some, he went no to, way. <laughs> yeah, he bought a whole bunch of items, he had a whole bunch of food stored up, and then came back here and then just completely changed the course of the battle, it was really oh. impressive day. Oh man, I'll, I'll be so pissed if, if that happened to me, like, uh, oh, I'll be, I'll be really mad. Uh, anyway, it looks like both players are going to two bases on two bases. And uh, I think the two lords versus two, uh, um, no, uh, yeah, two, two about to be arcing sanctums and no workshop in sight. Yeah, yeah, there is one workshop. Maybe I'm a bit ahead of you, but there is one workshop just next to the two arcing sanctums. Oh um, yeah, that's right. You're, yeah, you're right. You're you're a little ahead of me, but I, I can I can sync up to you. Um, uh, okay. um, I, and a uh, little um, phantom panda is trying to oof, try to do some. Um, uh, maybe trying to drain some monkey mana. I, I don't know why, but uh, it's like no mountain king actually. It's a um, blood mage second. That's really interesting. Are you kidding? 
No, 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 but check out the shop. Oh, yeah, you're right.